Hello and welcome to this section of the course where we're going to continue uh, building our skills and really conquering the topic of algebra. So in this section we're going to kind of give more of that foundational material and here we're going to review everything there that's really important to know about dealing with fractions. And I'll tell you from all of my years of doing this, fractions is one of the things that gives people the most trouble but in fact it's one of the easiest things to do once you know how to do it. It seems like there's a lot of rules to remember and a lot of things to do uh, but with practice it will all become clear. Now what I want to say here is that we're going to cover in this section uh, how to simplify fractions, how to add them, how to subtract them, how to multiply them, and how to divide them. And we're also going to talk about mixed fractions and improper fractions. So we're going to cover quite a bit of material in this one section. The um, pre-algebra course that we have, the course just before this one, has uh, even more material with fractions. So if you think you need more of a refresher on that, then go take a look at those videos and they have even more. So what we're going to do here is give you enough of a primer so that whenever you get into later on in the algebra, you've got such a good confidence with your, with your understanding of fractions that when you see a, a fraction later on that might have variables, that it won't worry you so much because we've already got such a great foundation. So what is a fraction, first of all? It is basically telling you uh, or a way for you to mathematically express when you have something less than one. I mean, we all know this, but when you get to the nuts and bolts of it, it seems difficult for a lot of students including me, by the way, when I was younger. Uh, but if you have a candy bar, right, uh, that's one candy bar, unit of one. If we break it in half, uh, we have two pieces of that candy bar, right? But we still have one candy bar, it's just that we have two pieces now. Now if I give you a piece, one half. One piece I've given you out of the two whole pieces that we have. So fractions are really, really invented so that we can express numbers that are less than one. In this case, I've given you less than a candy bar. I've given you one half of a candy bar. So that's why they're so important. Um, but let's not forget that uh, that is what fractions are really about. Now the first thing we want to talk about is how to simplify fractions. And this is really where a lot of people not only don't quite understand how to do it, but they don't understand why we do it. So I'm going to try to go ahead and make this really simple with uh, some everyday examples. So let's say we have the fraction 6 twelfths. What does this mean? It means that I have something, I've cut it up into 12 pieces, okay? But I've given away six of those pieces to someone else, right? To someone else. So if you think about it for a second without doing any math, if I have a pizza and I cut it into 12 pieces and I give you six of those pieces, how much pizza do you really have? I mean, think about it. If I cut it into 12 and I give you six of them, I'm giving you half of that pizza. So we know this to be true from everyday experience. You have just, without realizing, simplified your very first fraction. You've changed it. Because what we've basically shown is that six twelfths of a pizza, six pieces out of 12, is the same as one half of a pizza. So let's go and investigate why that's the case. If we want to simplify fractions, uh, that's what we're doing. We're trying to rewrite that fraction into the simplest possible terms. So all you do to do that, anytime you're given a fraction and trying to simplify it, is you try to, to divide the top and the bottom of this fraction by some number. You can pick any number you want. Uh, but what you're trying to do is divide into the top and the bottom to, so that it will go an even number of times. So when I look at 6 and 12, the very first thing that I say to myself is I know I can divide 3 into the top and to the bottom. All right? You might pick a different number. I'm going to go ahead and pick 3. So let's say I have 6 twelfths. What I'm telling you is that you can divide the top by 3 as long as you divide the bottom by 